I'll now begin with my opening statement. Thank you all for joining me today for this very important hearing, which will help our subcommittee better understand the food security challenges that our nation's veterans and service members face. This conversation is especially significant given that tomorrow we observe Veterans Day, a day for us to honor those who serve and their willingness to protect our nation. I hope this hearing helps to highlight the reality that too many veterans face when their service has ended. Food insecurity is disturbingly rampant among our veteran population. On average, about 1.2 million households with veterans participate in SNAP each year. Tragically, studies estimate that a substantial portion of eligible veterans as high as 60% do not participate in the program. Food insecurity particularly impacts veterans who have recently left service, had lower final pay grades, or live in rural or low-income areas that have limited access to food. Their hunger can also be exacerbated by mental and physical health challenges, including service-related disabilities. It is unacceptable that in America today, we cannot ensure that veterans do not struggle with food insecurity after the completion of their services. This problem does not spare our active duty service members either, who despite working every day to serve this country, face the same challenges with food insecurity. According to USDA, 22,000 SNAP households included service members in 2019. And it is likely that that number is only the tip of the iceberg as many military families face barriers to accessing SNAP. Service members and veterans who, who face different barriers and situations, I'm sorry, service members and veterans face different barriers and situations that can cause or worsen food insecurity. Some of these barriers are common amongst food insecure Americans, while others are unique and may require targeted solutions. No person should ever go hungry in America. However, it is especially galling to see those who have dedicated their lives to serving our nation struggle to put food on the table. Today is not a hearing to review or investigate any particular bill or piece of legislation, but rather we will gather information from the witnesses and our efforts to search for solutions to ensure no veteran or service member feels the sting of hunger. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our veterans and service members. Please let me extend a heartfelt thank you and the gratitude of myself and I'm sure every member of this subcommittee today and every day for all you have done. We look forward to hearing from each of you and are committed to working to address this important issue. I'd now like to welcome the distinguished ranking member, the gentleman from Nebraska, Mr. Bacon, for any opening remarks he would like to give. 